back, they have a new home at their old address. Well, the eternal heaven is going to be our new home at our old address. Our new home is heaven, and the old address is earth. So remember, heaven and earth will be the same place. And in this analogy, the vacation is the temporary heaven or the intermediate heaven. We go there for a little while, and then we come back to our old home and find it completely transformed into something astonishingly beautiful. Now, if you notice, if you're familiar with the show, the show really doesn't spend a lot of time focusing on the vacation. That's a sideline. They spend their time focusing on the new home. It's t the vacation is temporary. The home is permanent. Similarly, the Bible says relatively little about the present heaven, which is temporary. It focuses its attention on our eternal home, which is permanent. And so you might actually have a lot of questions about this temporary heaven. For example, will we have bodies in the intermediate heaven? Those who have died before us in Christ, do they have bodies? Are they in a physical place? Well, the resurrection hasn't taken place yet, so it's a good question. I think they probably do, and I think they do for a couple of reasons, one philosophical and one biblical. And the philosophical reason is this. God and the angels are, in essence, spirits. They don't have a body, naturally. They are spirit beings. We learn about this in John 4 and Hebrews 1. Human beings, on the other hand, are by nature both spiritual and physical. Genesis 2. As Randy Alcorn puts out, points out in his book, notice something. Notice that God did not create Adam as a spirit and then place the spirit inside of a body. Rather, he first created a body and then breathed into him a spirit. There never was a moment when a human being existed without a body. You can put it this way. I don't believe we can be fully human without both a body and a spirit. So if the temporary heaven is a realm of disembodied spirits, then it really is a strange, unnatural, and foreign place, if it can be called a place at all. But more importantly, is the biblical reason. There are actually quite a few scriptures which seem to indicate that people currently in heaven have bodies. For example, Jesus is in heaven, and he has a body, which is really kind of cheating a little bit because his is a different kind of body. He's resurrected already. He has the fully glorified body. And ours, at best, would be a temporary body awaiting our resurrection. But at least we know for sure that one person, at least, has a physical body in current in intermediate heaven. But then remember Enoch and Elijah? Do you remember how their life ended? It didn't. They didn't die. God simply took them in their bodies straight to heaven. And so we know there are at least three people in temporary heaven who have bodies. And then remember the transfiguration? Remember when Moses appeared with Elijah and Jesus on the mountain? And he had a body too. And so we know there are at least four people in the intermediate heaven who have physical bodies. There are actually quite a few other examples. I don't have time to cite them all now. But I think it is reasonable to assume that if we die before Jesus returns, we will live with him in a real material place with real physical bodies, even though they're temporary, waiting for our resurrection and glorification. Now, I know there are a number of other questions that I, I really wish I had time to address today, like, do our friends and a family in heaven remember their life here on earth? And are they aware of what's happening on earth right now? Can they see us? And what are they doing all day? Well, the answers to that are in the book. So if you really want to know, um, biblical answers are written there in detail in the book, and I encourage you again to read it. By the way, just as there are two heavens, so there are two hells. There's the eternal hell, or the lake of fire, and there's what we might call the intermediate or temporary hell. Let me be clear. 
unbelievers who die outside of Christ go immediately and physically to a place of torment. This place has various names in the Bible, such as Sheol, Hades, Gehenna, and of course, hell. See, this is the counterpart to the 